Hello, welcome to Biology, the Scientific Study of Life. Nobel laureate Eric Kandel and his colleagues at Columbia University have studied the cellular basis of learning using an animal with a small, experimentally accessible nervous system, the Seher albizia abalizia. Uh, Californica, the researchers were able to explain the mechanism of simple forms of learning and in this uh, molsic in terms of changes in the strength of synaptic transmission between specific sensory and motor neurons. Uh, this figure described uh, uh, one of their experiments Invertebrates a brain, a form of learning called long term potentiation, LTP, involves an increase in the strength of synaptic transmission that occurs when a presynaptic neuron produces a brief high frequency series of action potentials. Because LTP can last for days or weeks, it may be a fundamental process by which memories are stored or learning takes a uh, place. The cellular mechanisms of LTP has been studied most, uh, most uh, thoroughly at synapses uh, in the uh, hippocampus, where presynaptic neurons release the excitatory, excitatory neurotransmitter uh, glutamate. Notice this figure. Uh, the uh, postsynaptic neurons possess uh, two types of uh, glutamate receptors, A and PA receptors and NMDA receptors. A and PA, and PA receptors are part of ligand uh, gated ion channels when uh, glutamate binds to them in a positive and K positive diffused through the channels and the postsynaptic membrane uh, depolarizes NMDA. DA receptors are part of channels that are both ligand gated and voltage gated. The channels between open only if a glutamate is bound and the membrane is depolarized, as detailed in this figure. Notice that. Um, uh, notice also the uh, sensitization in the sea here, uh, Aplesia californica, uh, the binding of glutamate to these two types of receptors can lead to uh, LTP through changes in both the presynaptic and postsynaptic neurons. Uh, consciousness. Uh, the study of human consciousness was long considered outside the province of hard science, more appropriate as a subject for philosophy or religion. One reason for this view is that consciousness is both broad, uh, encompassing our uh, awareness of ourselves and of our own experiences and subjective. Uh, over the past few decades, however, uh, new scientists have begun studying consciousness using brain imaging techniques such as fMRI. Uh, it is now possible to compare activity in the human brain during different states of consciousness. For example, before and after a person is aware for, of seeing an object, these imaging techniques can also uh, be used to compare the uh, consciousness and unconsciousness. Unconscious processing of sensory information, such as such studies, do not uh, pinpoint a consciousness center in the brain. Rather, they uh, offer uh, an increasingly detailed picture of how neural activity correlates with conscious experiences. There is a growing cons uh, consensus among uh, neuro, uh, neuroscientists that uh, consciousness uh, uh, is an emergent uh, property of the brain. One of the recreate, uh, recreate activities in uh, many uh, in many of uh, many areas of the cerebral cortex, several models postulate uh, the existence of a sort of scanning mechanism that rep uh, repeatedly sweeps across the brain, integrating widely. 
uh, that repeatedly sweeps across the brain, integrating widespread activity into our uh, a unify, uh, a unify, uh, fired consciousness moment. Still, a well-supported theory of consciousness uh, so, uh, may have to wait until brain emerging technology because uh, becomes more sophisticated, analyzing uh, dynamic patterns of activity that spin the um, entire brain may reveal that these patterns bear no more direct relationship to individual nerve cells than do hurricanes to their constituent uh, water molecules. Uh, notice this figure uh, mechanism of long-term uh, potentiation in the vertebrate brain. CNS injuries and diseases are the focus of much research. Unlike the PNS, the mammalian CNS cannot fully repair itself when damaged or uh, assaulted by disease. Surviving neurons in the brain can make new connections and do sometimes com uh, compensate, compensate for damage. As in the remarkable uh, recoveries of some stroke victims, generally speaking, however, brain and spinal cord injuries, strokes, and diseases that destroy CNS as neurons such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease have ad devastating effects. Curing research uh, on nerve cell development and the discovery of neural stem cells enhance our fundamental knowledge of the nervous system and may one day make it possible for physicians to repair or replace damaged, uh, damaged, uh, damaged neurons. Nerve cell development. Among the key questions in neurobiology uh, are how certain cells in the developing animal differentiate into neurons and how neurons migrate to their proper locations, grow axons uh, to specific places and make synapses with the correct synaptic cells, target cells, which means... <clears throat> The uh, labs of Corey Goodman, University of California, uh, Brick Lilly, and Mark uh, TCL uh, uh, Levin, University of California, San Francisco, have been studying how neurons find their way. During development of the CNS, the work combines elements of cell to cell communication, control of gene expression, and the genetic basis of development. Uh, to reach their target cells, uh, axons must uh, elongate from a few micrometers to a meter or more, for example, from the human spinal cord uh, to the uh, foot. An axon does not follow a straight path to its target cells, rather molecular uh, uh, sign busters along the way direct and redirect. The growing axon in a series of mid-course correct, uh, corrections uh, that result in a mindering um, but not random elongation. The responsive region at the leading edge of the growing axon is called the growth cone. Signal molecules released by cells along the growth road bind to receptors on the plasma membrane of the growth cone, triggering a signal a transduction pathway. Notice this figure. Et voilà. Uh, the axon may respond by either growing toward the source of the signal molecules attraction or away from it uh, uh, revolution. Cell addition molecules on the axon's growth cone also play a role. They uh, attach the complementary molecules on surrounding cells that provide tracks for the growing axon to follow. Nerve growth factor released by uh, astrocytes and growth promoting proteins produced by neurons themselves contribute to the process by stimulating axonal elongation. The growing axon 
axon expresses different genes at different times during its development and it is influenced by surrounding cells that it moves away from this complex process has been conserved during millions of years of evolution for the genes genes produce or gene products uh, and mechanism or axon guidance are remarkable similar or remarkably similar in studied nematode worms c elegans insects drosophila and vertebrates what continues on uh, disfiguring the mechanisms of axonal growth with an uh, ultimate goal of repairing c and s damage using the right combination of attractants uh, repellent uh, growth uh, uh, associated proteins and growth factors researchers hope to um, caucus uh, damaged axon to regrow follow the correct pathway and form connections with the correct target cells uh, neural system uh, neural stem cells until 1998, it was common knowledge that you were born with all the brain neurons you would not ever have. In that year, however, Fred Cage from the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in California and Peter Erickson from uh, Sugrinsika University Hospital in Sweden made a startling announcement uh, announcement uh, the human brain does produce new neurons in adulthood. Uh, in adulthood, uh, Erickson was working in Cage's lab where researchers injected mice with the marker uh, bromodioxyuridine uh, bromo uh, to label the DNA of dividing cells. After Erickson returning to Sweden, he learned that a group of term, um, terminally uh, in cancer uh, patients were receiving uh, PRDU as part of a study monitor tumor. Uh, tumor grow, the patients agreed to donate uh, their brains for research upon their death. In a, a post-mortem study, Erickson found newly divided uh, neurons in the uh, hippocampus of all the patients. Uh, notice this figure, et voila. Uh, it is not clear what function these new cells play in the human brain. However, mice that live in stimulating envir environmental environments and run to exercise wheels have more new neurons in their hip uh, hippocampus and perform better on learning tasks uh, than genetically identical caged mice that receive little stimulation. Mature neurons with their extensive processes and intricate, uh, intricate connections with other cells clearly are not able to undergo cell division. Therefore, the new brain neurons must have come from stem cells. Uh, that stem cells are relatively uh, unspecialized cells that continually divide, while some of their uh, progeny remain undifferentiated, others may differentiate into specialized cells under the right conditions. One of the uh, difficulties of conducting research uh, on stem cells is finding a source of human stem cells. Embryonic stem cells can be obtained from embryos produced through in uh, vitro fertilization but because harvesting these cells requires destroying the embryo various ethical and political issues surround uh, their use certain adult tissues uh, such as bone marrow also have stem cells uh, but those cells may be less developmentally ver uh, versatile than embryonic stem cells and uh, in 21, Cage and his colleagues announced that they had cultured new, uh, neural uh, progenitor cells from the brain of recently decays, uh, de uh, deceased individuals and surgical tissue samples. Uh, the term uh, progenitor, uh, progenitor refers to the fact that these stem cells are committed to becoming either neurons or glia. 
in culture, the cells divide 30 to 70 times and differentiated into neurons and uh, astrocytes. One of the goals of further research is to find a way uh, to and use the body's own neural uh, progenitor cells to differentiate into specific types of neurons or glia, glia when and where they are needed. Another goal is to uh, transplant cultured neural uh, uh, progenity, uh, progenitor cells into the damaged CNS. Okay, thanks for listening.